Hello, this is James Sankul, and I'm going to quickly go over with you today of how to place embeds into a shop drawing floor plan. And I'm also going to show you how to create an embed plan uh, with an embed key. So in your shop drawing floor plan, go ahead and go into model space. We're just going to zoom in to this wall over here where I'm going to do the demonstration. So looking at this, I've got my mullions drawn on the plan layer. I have the horizontals on the plan 1 layer. I have my edge of slab on the EOS layer. And in this case, these are concrete columns. Even though that they're concrete, it's always a good idea to keep them on the steel layer. So any kind of columns that you have, keep them on the steel layer so that this um, procedure actually works properly when you create your embed plans. So this window system is an Inviso W75. Um, so we're going to be utilizing the Halfin embeds, and the edge of slab is 3 inches back. So let's go ahead and start placing our embeds. So under the WW Drafting tab, go to Extrusions. And in your parts program, um, if it's not already on WW Embeds, go ahead and select WW Embeds. And so in this case, we're going to be using the FE01. Say OK. So we are centered a mullion three inches back so that the channel aligns with the edge of slab. I'm also going to be placing in the mat clips. Let's just copy these over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then here on the corner mullion, I've already laid out the false mullion, so this will be a ninth, and we'll just stop here. So, edge of slab is on that EOS layer, embeds and mat clips, those are on the embed layers. Even though that they look kind of like the same format, if we were to go into Layer Manager, you'll notice that the embed layer is on a non-printable layer, and the edge of slab is on a printable layer. So that what this means is that in your shop drawings, when you print your shop drawings, you won't see your embeds, but you will see your edge of slab. And to show you that real quick, if we were to go back to Paper Space and do a preview, you'll notice that you won't see the embeds. You can kind of faintly see the edge of slab even though that the scaling is way small. So go back, um, okay, so we're in paper space. Go ahead and save this. Create a new file. We're gonna be creating our embed plan. Just change the scale here. And we're gonna be X-refing the floor plan into the embed plan, but before we do so, be sure to save this. Let's go into model space. And the reason why I saved it first because when we XREF the floor plan, we're going to want to set the path type to relative. Now, if you hadn't saved your embed plan, it's not going to allow you to save it as a relative path because it has no idea where this file is going to be saved at. So save it first and then set the file path type to relative. Say OK. Then Back in the WW Drafting tab, over here on the far right, there's this little drop-down menu. So we're going to make this embed plan, so go ahead and select that. It's going to ask you if you want to permanently change this drawing into an embed plan. Go ahead and say yes. And what this does is it just does a little bit of file management. So you can see that a lot of my annotations are gone. It made my curtain wall disappear. It made my gray edge of slab into a nice bold blue line. 
and now it brought the embeds into a printable white block. Okay, so now that we have our embeds in here, we can go ahead and create our embed key. So in the same location as your embed plan, go ahead and select embed key, and this instantly brings in the quantities of the embeds that we had placed. So that's it for this demonstration video. This is just essentially to start your embeds. Uh, we're not going to get into the annotations, but thank you for watching.